Hello, this is going to be a quick tutorial to show you how to assemble your Z-Rail on 3D Potter printers. All of our printers use two different size, sizes of screws for the Z-Rail. And here on our micro we have M520s and M514s. These screws may be a different size for your printer, but there will always be a smaller one and a larger one. Here on the micro, the larger screws, and on all of our printers the larger screws, go on these three holes here, and then the smaller ones go on the two sides of the rail. There'll be two here and two here for the micro. Other printers may use a couple of extra screws, but like I said, there'll always be the smaller ones for these top rail screws. And one of the important parts is the alignment of these parts. So as you can see, this is all very easy to move around. Uh, there may have been some vibration or temperature changes in shipping that might cause this little nut in there to be ever so slightly misaligned out of place. So I will get a close up of that here. So as you can see, this nut here is pretty well aligned and a screw will go in very easily. But if I just flex it a little bit, now you can see it is very not aligned. And all I'm doing here is just flexing the rail a little bit like this. So you can go ahead and make sure that this screw is in the correct position and go ahead and insert it and you can start doing it. Like I said, you know, you if it is fully misaligned, just go ahead and give the whale a little bit of a wiggle like this. Try and see it lined up and insert the screw. And that is all you need to do to assemble the Z-Rail on your 3D Potter printer. Thank you.